Hello guys, today we are here to answer one single question and that is how do you get a 2 million euros hyper electric vehicle to drift? The answer is in the production version of the Remax C2 that is the Nevera. So if you're here, you are in the right place. Everything that you need to know on top of that will be given to you. So we'll be looking at the general, the performance, the chassis, the suspension components, the braking system, the part trains, and the configurations, and the battery pack, um, down to the wheels and the fact that it can drift will all be put here. So if you're here, for every information regarding the um, Nevera, you are in the right place to not click away. Now, let me just get down to business because Remark Automobili unveiled the production version of the C2 now becoming the Nevera. An all electric 1,914 horsepower with a top speed of 258 miles per hour, 2 million euros, as in 2.44 million US dollars hypercar has been designed and is production ready. The Navara is the production ready iteration of the C2 concept car that was revealed at the International Geneva Motor Show three years ago. Since then, Remark and its engineers have refined their new flagship on every level during the extensive pro program development and in pursuit of ultimate electric hypercar driving experience. With majority of the key components of the Navara we are looking at developed in-house at Remark HQ in Croatia, all systems have been improved and this is a far more improvement over the initial prototype. Interestingly, only 150 pieces of the Nevera will be made and every single unit will be crafted right from the doors of Croatia. Okay, so let's begin with the chassis, which is the world's most advanced monocoque construction chassis we've ever seen on a production vehicle. The Navarre's groundbreaking monocoque developed by the former C2 chief engineer Daniela Ghiacci includes a bonded carbon fiber roof as you are looking at integrated structural battery pack and rear carbon fiber subframe. This forms the largest single carbon fiber piece in the entire automotive industry with less than 200 kilograms of weight and utilizing 2,200 carbon fiber plies and 222 aluminum insets. The monocoque encases the car's battery to form a compact yet incredibly strong structure with a torsional stiffness of 70,000 Newton meters thereabouts. Okay, so let me just follow that up with the fact that Remark has made a raft of comprehensive changes to the Navarre's body. The air diffuser and the intakes have uh, been modified to deliver 34% improvement in aerodynamic efficiency over the 2008 prototypes. The profile of the bonnet, just take a look. Yes, the shape of the pillars and the design of the diffusers, the splitters and the radiators have all been intensively analyzed and refined to improve airflow and downforce. Okay, so the inlets, cooling channels have been painstakingly developed to increase the cooling efficiency of both the bricks and the powertrains, resulting in a 30% improvement at low speeds and 7% at high speeds. Okay, so this is what um, Remark did. They created numerous new innovative active aerodynamic elements to elevate the Navarra's cooling performance, stability, and efficiency abilities. So the front bonnet profile, the underbody flaps, which I can't show, but at least you can understand, rear diffuser and rear wing can each move independently, driven by a complex algorithm that provides optimum aerodynamic configuration for each driving situation. And so this is what happens when you drive the um, Remark Nevera, switching in between high downforce modes and low downforce modes. So with the high downforce to low drag mode, it reduces the drag by 17.5% to create a 0.3 coefficient of drag, which is about one of the best in the hyper electric car business. Now, despite the incorporation of a wealth of active aerodynamic elements, as well as many cameras and sensors that I would highlight on, actually, when it comes to the cameras, we have um, 
13 cameras, 6 radars and 12 ultrasonic um, sensors that are laid out all over the vehicle and um, that is meant to enable the driver coach feature which is a futuristic project they are working on. The Navarro's body design remains a coherent graphics and the stunning butterfly doors elegantly carved away from the, from the car's wide sill as they open creating a general space for egress and ingress okay okay so next up is the cockpit and you know there's a minimalistic design approach in a cabin maximum comfort and maximum control approach in the cabin that's what we are looking at okay so the cockpit features a trio of high definition tft screens which present as much or as little information as the user requires so it's configured for both truck driving and comfort and the layout of the cockpit is actually divided into two zones the upper zone and the lower zone whichever way you want to put it the focus of the top segment is entirely placed on driving pleasure and performance while the lower part houses infotainment comfort controls and you know driven data right what interests me the most is the tactile billet aluminium rotary control and switches that you see in there which brings us back to the old school um hypercar days okay and these include three display with rotary controls and provide a resolute analog feel tailored to enable the driver to utilize the cutting edge digital technology in an even more engaging manner right so from the cockpit the driver can monitor every aspect of the car's performance with real-time telemetry downloadable to a laptop or a smartphone for later review or probably if you are sending it to a social media okay so that is something that i would lay emphasis on our blade emphasis on is really great and um i'm here so let me just wrap it up with the connectivity and the mobile app aspect of it so what remark has done is come up with an interesting system called the m2m which delivers a wealth of real-time data to the manufacturer and the the owner based on a contract sign so the nevera owners can track live data such as gps location charging speed and battery status while also using that to analyze driving performance matrix and map previews on an android or an ios which is great okay and you know let me chip this in before we go ahead there is near unlimited personalization for the car so rima claims that no two neveras will leave the factory with the same configuration thanks to what customers ability to choose from a comprehensive range of bespoke trims and material and options so you can actually customize from a to z on the car right in addition to the company's premium individual personalization program remark will offer its flagship in various editions which would be the gt edition uh, the signature edition the timeless and you know you can choose from a wide range of trim options also so no two remarks will leave the factory same all right so next up is the battery the power trains and the performance so i'm going to lump them together and tackle it i'm sure that's a very important aspect that most of us are here for okay so the nevera has a unique h-shaped liquid cooled 120 kilowatts hour battery with 6960 cells in there and this was designed from scratch by remark and this sits at the very heart of the nevera this battery package is capable of producing 1.4 megawatts of power and this is made up of lithium magnesium nickel battery which forms an integral part of the car's core what do i mean by the car's core it actually adds 37 percent of structural stiffness to the carbon fiber monocoque we've spoken about the battery's optimum positioning is low and central within the car's floor contributing to an ultra low center of gravity which is good for high performance vehicles like this this actually helps the car create an excellent 48 58 percent front to rear weight distribution and that is the best possible handling uh, distribution you want now rima develops this advanced battery cooling system and it has made the c2 far more efficient enabling more power to be delivered for greater periods the four bespoke surface mounted permanent magnet motors drive the nevera's four 
will individually we'll talk about that in a jiffy together they enable a 1914 horsepower and 2360 newton meters of torque the front and the rear wheels are each connected to a pair of single speed gearboxes that i would lay emphasis on okay so let me lay a little bit of emphasis on the powertrain um, already we have established that it comes with four independent surface mounted carbon sleeve permanent magnetic electric motors these four are shared in a two split two in front and two at the rear the two in front each produces 340 horsepower and 280 newton meters of torque when you get to the rear end, each of them produces 612 horsepower and 900 newton meters of torque. Okay, so that is a split of the motors. Interestingly, each of the pairs of the electric motors is attached to a single speed gearbox. So the front um, electric motors is attached to two single speed gearboxes, which is at the end of the front axles. And then when you get to the rear end, there are two double single speed gearbox encased in a single enclosure attached in the middle of the rear end um, axle um, where the electric motors sit. So when you cleverly are able to put this together, the result is ridiculous. And that is why we can tell that this Nevera can sprint from 0 to 60 mph in 1.85 seconds and tops up at 412 kilometers per hour at 258 miles per hour top speed. This Navara opens up a new dimension in the hypercar performance business. Well, you can see the figures for yourself. Where I want to lay emphasis on is the record aspect of the numbers. And I'm sure we'll hold this vehicle to the tarmac to really confirm this record breaking of the quarter mile. And they claim the quarter mile is done in 8.6 seconds, which is, um, you know, record breaker. It makes it the fastest accelerating production hyper electric vehicle today and period. We'll hold it when it becomes available to the tarmac, okay. Okay, so this is why and how it drifts. First of all, it's a two million euro electric hyper vehicle and i'm going to highlight a few of the areas i think i've already put enough information here i'm breaking this video into a next episode where i will detail how and why so i'm just going to pinpoint a few of the things that i that constitutes and the first of it is the fact that is a two million euro vehicle secondly the chassis thirdly the suspension um fourth on the list is the braking simulation that happens and then the wheels that are put under this vehicle i will detail this in the next episode which is accessible through the link on my top left corner i believe yeah so you can use that to access the full details of why the remark nevera 2022 really drifts and drag races and i'll add a few more touches to it of the things that i couldn't cover in this one including suspension the advanced driver systems that come with this car and then again the battery pack um, which i couldn't cover in this specific one so thank you so much use the links to the next episode have a great time until we meet again same time bye bye